guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's Paula McClay tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this super cute little cauldron. And it's got the little potion inside, little bubbles. Now I used glow in the dark, but like the fluorescent I think female is called. Um, but you can also use translucent if you want on top. So yay! This little guy's really cute and he's the last in our little Halloween series. So Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into the tutorial. So for this tutorial, I'll be using black clay, green clay, uh, white clay, and either translucent white clay or fluorescent, as Fimo calls it. Also, some bottles. An exacto knife and a blade for the two different types of cutting we're going to do. So to begin with, we're taking our black clay and just cutting off about one third, maybe even less than one third, and we're going to roll these up into little balls. So we're going to put the smaller ball to the side for now, and taking our larger black ball. We're going to gently push it down into the working surface. So lightly flatten the top and the bottom, but make sure you have that rounded edge. <laughs> Next we're taking our green and we're just going to squish it down into a nice disc kind of shape. And apply this on the top of our flattened ball basically. Work around with this a bit until you're happy with the way it's kind of fitted on the top of your basically cauldron to be. So once we're done with that, we're going to take our black ball of clay that we have left to the side and roll a thickish snake. Using our X-Acto knife, we're just going to cut the approximate length we want. And you want it to be able to go all around the side of the green. So carefully wrap it around, attaching neatly all around your green liquid. So any excess can just be cut off with your exacto knife. And there you go. Smoothing out the little edge a little bit. And our cauldron is starting to look really cute. So next, I'm just going to make two indents on the front of my cauldron for the eyes, just like that. And I'm going to make two tiny, tiny white balls of clay for the eyes. So popping each one into each socket. And just gently flattening into the hole with my ball tool, just for extra security. Now once you're done with the eyes, you're going to want to roll out a thin little snake. It's very visible on the camera right now. Uh, and create a smile. So I'm just going to cut a very small piece of white clay. And just place it in between the eyes, maybe a little bit lower than the exact center. And there we have our little face. So once the face is done, it's time for the bubbles. So I went ahead and made a whole bunch of different sized little balls of clay. I used fluorescent or glow in the dark, but you can also use translucent or white even. Uh, I just placed them in different little positions on top of your liquid, just like that, to give it the impression that it's bubbling up. And of course, once you're done applying them, just give them a light pat, just to make sure they stay in place. Then I'm also going to pop in a high screw and it's time for the oven. Then it makes you ready! I love making this little cauldron. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Bye!